situation is improving. Um, there are fantastic women in the wine trade, and there always have been. I think what's starting to change is seeing women as real leaders in the, in the wine trade and having their voice heard more. And that is moving, and it's with, with the support of, of certain people. And the Bendham and CNC are, are incredibly hot on gender pay gap, um, on making sure they um, support women um, in the industry and the wine trade itself. So I think it's, there's still some work that needs to be done, and I'm very, very proud to be a woman, to be flying the flag for women in the industry. I think the wine trade has had in the past a bit of a reputation for a sort of old school or all boys club mentality. Um, I think that's going. I think you know the younger generation are, are much more in tune with, with um, equal rights for men and women. Um, so I think we're starting to see that go away and just better behavior really. I think some of the unacceptable behaviors that perhaps women just had to grin and bear in the past. We absolutely don't have to anymore, or we certainly shouldn't. And I think there is a voice now for women um, in the industry, wherever they are, that certainly there should be, to be able to speak up when they believe they're being treated unfairly. I think as I entered the wine trade, because interestingly, because there weren't that many women, I was able to speak up for women and perhaps had my voice heard more loudly than it might, ha might have been. So I always took that, um, that opportunity very seriously and shouted very loudly. And I think it's helped me um, get me where I am today. But ultimately, not, not all women should have to speak loudly or shout loudly to, to, to be heard or recognized. So I do hope that what I've done to help will, will mean that women find it more easy um, to, to become leaders and to lead and pioneer in the wine trade as they're starting to do so. I think my, my advice would be to be yourself, to be authentic. But also, if you want change, you have to say something about it. You have to do something. You can't always sit back and, and, and hope that the right thing comes along, because it doesn't always. So my advice would be to, to be yourself, um, to work hard, to enjoy yourself, but also to, to speak up um, in whatever way you can um, when necessary.